Hi, this is Mike Rogotsky. I'm going to show you three ways of how you can use the Copy Parallel tool when you're editing features in ArcGIS Pro. I'm going to work in an area of Canmore, Alberta, and I'm going to zoom into an area that has some a parking lot outside of Elevation Place. What I'd like to do is add in the parking lot lines. And there's several ways that I can start to do this. I'll show you three different ways sort of with ease of use as we go through. So I have my feature template set up here for my parking spots. I know that a parking spot, if I go a preset distance along this line of 2.6 meters wide, I'll move parallel. And then what I'll do is do a perpendicular distance off of this line of 5.6 meters. And I'll delete this last vertex to remove that initial line and finish my sketch. So there we go, I have my first feature here. Now what I'd like to work with next are the modify features and specifically the copy parallel tool, which I found by doing a search. So when I work copy parallel, we can see here, I've got the different values that I can use of, in this case, I've already had it set into 2.6 meters. I can work with the different um, number of repetitions and I can copy to the left or right or both sides of the line. So I'll copy this and there's my first uh, lines that I have on this part of the parking lot. So that's, um, that's one way that I can do it. Um, a few clicks that I've been working uh, through as I'm doing that. So let's try and minimize those clicks uh, by using a few other tools that we have available to us in our GIS Pro. I'm going to turn the grid on here, and the grid's great because I can use it for um, snapping. So I'll, I want to set some values up here for 2.6 meters for my widths. I'm going to rotate this, and uh, before I rotate it, I will move it to a corner here where I'm going to be working off the vertex on that part, and now I'll rotate it so I can snap it to the vertex of this line. Now when I'm working with the tools, I'll create my features again, but as I do them, we'll see here that I can just go off the vertex of the grid, do my distance of 5.6 meters, and there we go. There's my line, and then once again, I'll use Copy Parallel, and I've already got it set 9, going to the left again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'll then copy that, and I've set those lines as well. So this is good, I'm starting to fill out the different lines here, but um, I'm still clicking quite a bit here, and in this case, all my parking lot lines are 5.6 meters long. So what I can do is take advantage of presets when I'm using the Copy Parallel tool. I'll take one of the features, go into my templates, then in my manage templates I'll take the parking spots here and select preset template from selected feature. From here I'll give it a smart name and then when I pick this and use it for my tool now I now already have a feature which is 5.6 meters long that I can essentially snap in where I'd like it or, like I've been doing, use Copy Parallel to move it as many spots that I'd like along the line. And there we can see all our features. And after a little bit of work, I can go through the entire parking lot, which I've done previously. I'm hiding everything with a definition query. and we'll see all of our parking spots here in Elevation Place in Canmore, Alberta. So that's a few ways, three different ways, that you can work with the Copy Parallel tool in ArcGIS Pro and how you can work with presets as well. If you found this helpful, be sure to like the video, and if you have any comments, please feel free to comment below. If you'd like to see more Esri Canada videos, subscribe to our channel using the subscribe button. Happy mapping.